Hi, I'm Allie, and I live in Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. Upon the death of Moses, Joshua was called upon to lead the children of Israel into the land of God's promise. The day they were supposed to cross the Jordan, Joshua gave the instructions that he had received from God that the children of Israel should follow the priests who were carrying the Ark of the Covenant, which is where the presence of God dwelt. Even though the Jordan River at that time of year would be flooded, God had promised that he would cause the waters to recede and literally stack up on top of each other so that the children of Israel could cross the Jordan on dry land. So they followed the instructions given by Joshua. And when the priests got to the middle of where the Jordan used to be, they stood there on dry ground until all of the Israelites had passed by. After this had happened, God wanted them to be able to share the wonder of his miraculous works with generations to come. And so this was the instruction that he gave the word of God says. So Joshua called together the 12 men he had appointed from the Israelites, one from each tribe and said to them, go over before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. Each of you is to take up a stone on his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the Israelites to serve as a sign among you. In the future, when your children ask you, what do these stones mean? Tell them that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. These stones are to be a memorial to the people of Israel forever. Each of us has been through some pretty flooded rivers in our lives. We've gone through some dangerous situations that we only made it through because God was with us. My question to you is, what is your life saying to the people that come after you about God? What are the memorial stones, if you will? What are the things in your life that testify to God's faithfulness throughout your life? What is it that people can point to in your experience or in your history that they will ask you, what do these stones mean? So that you can share with them how God brought you through. Each of us has some stones, maybe not literal stones, but there are some things in our lives that we can point to and tell other people what God has done. As we celebrate Memorial Day weekend, which is an amazing time for us to look back at people who have impacted our lives, who have gone on, I want us to be intentional about telling people about the stones in our lives, those things that we have uh, the ability to point to and say, this is what God did for me. And this is how I made it through something that I could only have gotten through because God was with me. We each have stories to tell, and it is so important for us to allow our lives to be a memorial to the goodness of God. I love you. I'm praying for you, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Living Chronic Faith is a faith-first community of believers living with chronic medical conditions and the loved ones who support them. For more support, encouragement, and resources, join the membership for free at www.livingchronicfaith.com.